Pickles, how's it going? Welcome to your December love reading. So this is for those of you Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus that are not in any type of an actual commitment. All right, you might be dating, someone might be dating around, but as long as you're not in an, in an actual serious relationship, this is for you guys. So what I do is I pull a couple energies for two different people, all right, to get two different people that might be coming your way. And then I get an outcome and some advice. All right, here we go, Aries. What's this first person? Three of Wands reverse. So we'll put one over here, one over here, all right? Just so you know. What else do we have for this next person that Aries could be dealing with romantically? Where did my music go? Oh, judgment reversed with the Three of Wands reversed. All right, well, let's get another one for this next person. Eight of Pentacles. Okay, I'm just going to get one clarifier on judgment. There's my music. And then I will let you know what's up. Clarify judgment reverse for Aries. Oh, wow. That's a whole stack. I thought we had a good one, guys. Okay. Okay. Five of Swords reversed. All right. So with the Three of Wands reverse, guys, over here. This is fire, so you guys as well as Leo and Sagittarius. But this person might be at a distance from you, um, and that might make things difficult, right? And they have judgment reversed here. So, guys, this could be someone from your past. I know people hate to hear that. You know, whatever, I'm sorry. It is what it is. I am going to pull for another person, but this one looks to be someone from your past that maybe moved away or you moved away or you guys are just you know at a distance from each other meaning you don't speak but it does look like somebody from your past that maybe you worked with them um either way this is somebody that you've already dealt with didn't go well not gonna go well this time either <laughs> okay eight of pentacles here for them so it's like they want to work on things with you but there's no there's no reconciliation happening here and again it could have been like an old co-worker but i think it was an actual relationship and we have the five of swords reversed for them air gemini libra aquarius eight of pentacles is earth virgo taurus capricorn with the five of swords reversed here um they don't want to fight with you like whenever you guys were in each other's lives before there's probably a lot of drama a lot of conflict they don't want to fight with you and they want to put the work in but i don't think it's happening i don't think you want it um i don't know i wish i knew if you guys wanted me to keep reading for this ex because some people don't want to hear anything about it and some people are like yeah what do they want um because this is one I could keep going with this. You know what? I'm going to come back to it. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull another person for you and I'm going to come back to this one, okay? And then if you're somebody who cares about your ex, wants to know what they're trying to do with you here, then you can stick around. <laughs> right, but let's get a new person for you. All right. Show me the energy of this next potential person that Aries Singles could be dealing with. Seven of Cups, Water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This person probably fantasizes about you already. They're a dreamy, dreamy type of person. Could be a Pisces. Oh boy, and the Six of Cups. <laughs> what are you guys doing, Aries? This is more past energy. But this one, I don't, I don't think it's, it's not the same. It's not the same as this one. So we'll get into that. Could just be past life. You might not know him right now. Let's get another one for this next person for Aries. Page of Wands reversed. Oh, geez. Okay. So this person over here, guys. Uh, more water. We have water and fire here. 
Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But with them having the Seven of Cups and the Six of Cups, it's like they're really the type of person to fantasize on their past or their childhood. It's just a time in their life when things were easier, right? This is really nostalgic energy and this is fantasizing. So it might be that they have this memory of you you know, when you guys were good, when you guys were fun, you might know them from childhood. Um, if this is an ex for you, it's not like a bad situation. It's not, it's not the same as this one over here. Um, and so it doesn't have to necessarily be an ex. It could just be past life connection or someone that you just know from childhood. Okay. But they definitely look back at whatever connection they had with you, whether you had one this lifetime or not they look back on it like it was a good time for them. Like it was a happy time. And so this type of person, if you don't know them already, and it's just childlike energy, they are really dreamy and they like to have fun. They're not, they don't like to focus on, you know, serious shit, bad shit in the world. They're really lighthearted, okay? And it is soulmate energy with the Six of Cups. Now with the Page of Wands reverse here, you guys might not be communicating and it might be because maybe you guys haven't spoke since you were kids. Maybe it's like that. Um, but with the Page of Wands reverse here, it's like they're fantasizing but they're not doing anything about it. Let's see. It's like they're looking at you and fantasizing but they're not saying it. What is this Page of Wands reversed all about? The King of Wands, wow. So fire, you guys as well as Leo and Sagittarius, but this is the type of person that goes after what they want. They, they're they really attractive and they know it and not in an arrogant way, they're just that confident. They're really in their power. They really go after what they want. But for some reason, they're not when it comes to you. Wow, guys, what is this? Why is this person not saying anything to you? They have the confidence. They fantasize about you. Why are they not talking to you? Hmm, maybe they don't know how to get a hold of you. Let me pull another one here, guys. The full reverse Aries, that's you. They're scared of you. They're scared. They don't, they're afraid to take a risk. They're afraid to just jump and, you know, take that leap of faith and reach out to you. Oh my goodness. Why? It's like the, the type of person that is confident in everything that they do in life, except when it comes to you. It, you are like that person for them that, that scares them, that intimidates them, and you're like the only one that does that. Wow. <laughs> so what are you supposed to do, right? Let's see. So if you have someone that you know from childhood that you're not speaking to, you might want to reach out to them. If there's somebody that there might have, you know, been some happy memories, some attraction or something in the past, you might have to reach out to them because they're having some kind of issue with they're afraid to talk to you. And they have the Hermit Reverse, so they could be a Virgo even. Um, but it's somebody who's isolated themselves for a while and now they're coming out of this isolation. Like I said before, like you guys, if you already know them, they have not spoke to you for a really long time. So now it's like, it's like you're intimidating for them. They're afraid to say anything, but they do want to, they really do, but they're terrified. They're afraid you're not going to want them. Hmm. Like it's, it's really risky for them to put themselves out there like that, but only when it comes to you. So strange. Okay. I'm going to go back to this person over here for those of you that are worried about this ex. All right. Let's get an outcome for this one over here.
the nine of cups oh boy okay guys so that is wish fulfillment um there could be somebody coming back saying that they're pregnant if you are a male and got somebody pregnant <laughs> otherwise it's just you're like their wish you're like their their dream come true but it's not happening they really want it to they want to put the drama behind them and they want to they want to work on things with you but it's like somebody somebody made a really bad judgment call here and the decision's been made and they're kind of just trying to not let the decision be made do you know what i mean all right let's get you some advice aries aries singles Advice for Aries singles in December. What is this one trying to come out? The two of wands. Yes, pick your path. You just have to pick a direction and go with it. Neither one is bad necessarily. It's just, it's going to be up to you. You're at a crossroads and it's time to pick one. Clarify the two of wands for Aries. Ten of Swords. It's time to let go of some hurt. All right. Heal some hurt and move on from it. You're, you know, you're at a fork in the road. You've been through some shit. All right. It's time to put that behind you and move forward. All right. All right. Take care, Aries.